what can negatively affect adrenaline? Well, of course, people with ADHD will naturally have a lower production of adrenaline because they lack no adrenaline. That is the reason, the main reason behind that issue. That's why they give products that increase no adrenaline level. But the main one is stress. Of course, the more stress you have, you can either deplete the precursor, dopamine, which we saw earlier. If you're constantly under stress, you're constantly producing adrenaline, which will deplete dopamine. And if dopamine becomes depleted, you lack the raw material to fabricate no adrenaline and adrenaline, and that will have a rebound effect leading to low adrenaline level. Also, if you're constantly under stress, even if you don't deplete the dopamine, if you have plenty of dopamine to work with, you can still create a, a problem with the adrenergic system by desensitizing the receptors. I explained that earlier. The adrenergic receptors are the most easily downregulated. Um, I'm, okay, sit down. I'm going to reveal an information that will probably change the way you see training forever. It might actually discourage you from ever training again, picking up dart throwing or maybe lawn bowling. Bodybuilders take drugs. I know it's a shock. It might take you some time to accept that, but it's the truth. And when I say drugs, it's not just steroids or growth hormone. Many of them take a stimulant or a fat burning drug called clenbuterol. Clenbuterol connects directly to the beta adrenergic receptors, essentially doing the same thing that adrenaline does. Uh, and it increases fat mobilization, heart rate, stuff like that. And bodybuilders who use clenbuterol know that after five to seven days of taking it, they stop responding to it. At first, you get jitters, your heart rate goes up, ha hard time sleeping. But after five, seven days, you don't feel it anymore. You either have to increase the dosage, which is stupid, but that's what they do, or you stop taking it for until your body like, get back, in, like in seven to 10 days. What happens is that your, the clenbuterol stays connected to the beta adrenergic receptors for 12, 13 hours. And that is way too long for the adrenergic receptors to be stimulated. So it reacts instantaneously by down-regulating itself, meaning it stops responding to anything that binds to it, including your own adrenaline. So that is just a way to explain that if your receptors, your adrenergic receptors, stays activated for too long too often, either from drugs or from being stressed all the time, they can become desensitized and you stop responding to your own adrenaline, leading to signs of low adrenergic activity.